Ultra Fast Pony. Why don't I ever get to introduce the bloody show? Oh, don't worry, it's not that great. You're not missing out on anything, really. I don't care. I want to introduce an episode. Well, good news, Rarity. I talked it over with absolutely no one, and we all decided you don't get to introduce an episode ever. And also, you suck. Just you wait. One day I'll introduce an episode. And you won't even be allowed in it. Oh, please, Rarity. I'm Twilight Sparkle, the main character. I'm in every episode. I'll get you, my ugly. And your little screen time, too. You misquoted. It's actually supposed to be, I'll get you, my pretty. I know, but if I had said that, it wouldn't have been accurate to your face. Oh, bro, you got burned. She burned you. You got totally burned, bro. Twilight, did you hear that burn that you got? Because you got totally burned, bro. Shut up, Pinky. So are you all nearly ready for the gala? Wait a minute. What are we doing? We're going to the gala, remember? I don't remember anything about a gala. Seriously? We had a whole thing about it in episode 3. I can't remember that long ago. Oh, just shut up and get in my CD carriage. And who, pray tell, is pulling this carriage for us? Damn you, hindsight! I take the problems more with your foresight. And the fact that you're an idiot. Now we'll never make it to the gala. Oh, no! Or I could ask these guys to pull it for us. Oh, yes! Ah, too bad. They said no. Oh, no! Just kidding. They said yes. Oh, yes! Fluttershy, can you stop doing that? Okay. Twilight, did you say this was a seedy carriage because it is a giant apple? Because if so, that's a pretty bad joke. Shut up. At the gala, with my friends, I will ah! Oh, so I don't get a bus? That's rude, jerks. Hi, Princess Celestia. I told you to be here 20 hours ago. Sorry, I have a very good reason why I couldn't be here earlier. Well, too bad, fatty. Your punishment is to stand by me for the rest of the evening. Aww. Holy crap, there he is! Stalking, 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 stalk faster! I'm coming, my gallant lion. Ready for you to eat me up. Hey, Applejack. Top of the morning to you, Soren. Are you here to pick up that special pie I had made for you? You know it. That'll be 2,000 bitcoins, thank you very much. Glad to do business with you. Well, that was a good start to the night. I'll have a meeting out of my hooves in no time. So this is the pie filled with Viagra, right? Yes, dammit. Go away. You're scaring away my other customers. Hey, Soren. You remembered to get the pie with the Viagra in it, right? Yes, dear, I did. Good, because I swear, if I'm not satisfied after tonight, I'm leaving you for your brother. And if you try cuddling me one more time, I will hurt you and make it look like an accident. Well, uh... Don't talk back to me. Just start eating, you disgusting maggot. <laughs> I'm so pathetic. Oh my gosh, a spitfire. Oh my gosh, I'm not your biggest fan. I came in in fifth, but I'm still totally your biggest fan, even though I'm not. Hey, I remember you. You're that Pegasus who farted in my face at the flying competition. Yeah, but I purred a little as well. I had really bad constipation that day. Yeah, it took me weeks for Soren to get the smell out of my hair. I swear, that Pegasus will never satisfy me. Well, I know what should help. You should totally adopt me as your daughter. Or maybe as your son. I don't care. I just want to be adopted. Oh, don't you start with the child talk as well. I get enough of that from Soren. In fact, you're not allowed in my presence anymore. Stop following me. Oh my gosh, that's a freaking secret code. That's the secret code for I have to follow her. I'm so freaking good at secret codes. And so at this part, Bill and Shadowfix are fighting for my affection, and I'm standing off to the side, and all my like, no, don't fight the me bruise. It's not worth it. But there, Bill's all like, I have to because I love you, Pinky. And Shadowfix is all like, no, I have to because I love you, Pinky. And it's all really dramatic and everything. Young lady, you are ruining a classic book. I will thank you not to ruin it with your sauce. Whoa, 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 hang on a sec there, bro. There's a book of Lord of the Rings? In my story arc, I'm having some kind of trouble with the animals. But it's not very interesting, so we'll skip it. Good evening, Miss Rarity. Hello, my prince. I was just admiring this lovely rose. It is quite the fine specimen. You know, they say every rose has its thorn. And I say that the thorns are pretty fun, if you know what I'm saying. Yes, I believe I understand the situation. Oh, I knew you would. I should hide this rose in my coat. So that no one may be hurt by it. 
deadly thorns. Oh, what? I'm so bored. Can I go somewhere else now? No, you have to stay by my side forever and ever and ever. I don't think I can actually do that. Ah, you should try being immortal. It's awesome. You can do whatever you want. You want to name a country after horses even though there are plenty of other creatures living here? Do it. You're immortal. Who cares? Can I please just go and enjoy the gala? No, you can't. You're grounded. Stay here. Why do you hate me? Why don't you come to my tea parties anymore? Because you banished me to Ponyville! Yes, well... Shut up, you still can't leave. Oh, come on! And they were written a few decades ago by a very well-known author. What are you talking about, Brew? Yes, that was the fellow. Who? That chap you just mentioned. If I said the author's name, then who was I talking about? Yes, that was him. Who? Tolkien. I told you, Brew, I don't know what you're talking about. I saw the doctor said that my original mother was actually alive a whole hour longer than I thought, so it's almost like I knew her twice as long as I thought I did. Oh man, this sucks. They can't hear me over the frickin' crowd. Why isn't anyone buying from me anymore. Miss Rarity, please stop. Oh, I love it when you order me around like that. It would appear some pony has wet the floor in my presence. Oh, don't look at me, stud. I ain't that easy. One would hate to slip. I don't know. Sounds fun if you ask me. One could fall over and accidentally crack their head on the floor. You're right, Prince Bluebud. That does sound like a lot of fun. One's cloak should clear up the mess. Are you kidding me? I never joke around when it comes to Health and safety. Wait a minute. You're a complete and total pansy. I can't believe I came here tonight for this. I can't believe no one wants to hear my fan fiction. Why won't Celestia let me leave? I can't believe no one wants to hear the story of the time I had zebra pairs that tried to make me into stew. No, seriously. Screw their minor problems. Why isn't anyone buying from me? This is my livelihood we're talking about. Why do all the animals hate me? Oh, fix this problem up. Zorba style. We finally made it here. Together, but no one's to hear my fang ever get blue I won't quit, it's just a little trial That's how we do it, Zorba style Critics get well, get down the damn floor Tell your story that I came here for Or you grab a seat, cause it may take a while That's how we do it, Zorba style Your teacher hates you or she loves you, I don't know Who said that? Your stuff ain't selling cause it's cheaper down the road Wait, what? Now in my tail, we'll go to chapter 40 Bill and Piggy escape from the Orkings Then I tell them how I'm fertile That's how we do it, Zorba style At a little point, it's getting all dramatic Bill whips out his demo automatic And saves my life, then does it with a smile That's how we do it, Zorba style Your prince won't hurt you cause he isn't a Free? I'll piss. The creatures hate you for the way that you speak. I'm shot! Because you're farted, you can't get in their cleat. I've done it. That's how we do it, Zorba style. At chapter 230, it will start to get dirty. Where it's me, Bill and Mary, getting hot on the ferry. When I get some good luck, after my hoodies get stuck. My Bill will rescue me and then we will wait. I can't say that. Let's part one of the rewrite. In part two, it will take flight. There will be a real big fight when we get attacked by dinosaurs. There's a little more to it if you want to read through it. Because that's how we do it, Zorba style. Young lady, we do not accept that kind of filth in our high society. Screw you, I do what I want. Oh. Well, I never. I'll tell you what you never. You never bought my damn food. Now you're all going to buy this cake or I will kill every single one of you. I believe that goes against several safety regulations. Shut up. No. You. What's going on in here? Wait. Where's Fluttershy? Samuel L. Jackson! Uh, what? You will all share the pain that I have to deal with these animals! Oh no, it's oh another animal stampede. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's like getting everywhere. It's Snuggleberry all over again. In the words of the famous Stephen Hawking, run like crazy! Hey, Rarity, you lost one of your glass slippers here. <gasps> Delicious pain! All oh, that felt good! To the wherever Spike is mobile! And I just feel like nobody respects me. Uh-huh. Yep, that that's uh Oh thank goodness, new customers. Master! How was your night? I will tell you in intricate detail. So are you going to explain it now or You know guys, we had a really crazy night tonight. Oh, okay, just ignore me again. We taught children all across the world that it's okay to crash parties. Then run away. Whoever wrote this episode must have had brain damage. Yeah, I think all the writers do. But seriously, I know we joke around a lot and poke fun at I... I think almost everyone. But at the end of the day, I'm still glad that I can call all of you... My friends. I guess what I'm really trying to say is... Uh... All I want is the best for our lives, my dear... And you know my wishes are sincere. What's the day for the days? I cannot bear.